Hey everyone, so in the following video I will talk about some of the gallery settings that we have. So let's head on over to our pages and I'm creating a new page here and this will be titled New Gallery Page. And over here within the page templates uh, we need to select the latest galleries. So as soon as we select latest galleries we have some core features um, or options come up here. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at these. First of all we have the option of selecting um, the page layout type. Now we have a right or left aligned sidebar. Uh, if that would be required, if you select any of these options, you will have the ability to then select further select the sidebars you want to work with. Uh, next off, uh, we have our um, gallery display settings, which uh, pretty much includes the, the various categories of galleries that you want to display in a particular page. So for example, if you were to hover over the portfolio area and then you want to divide them up into weddings, engagements, families, etc. You can go ahead and do that and just create several different gallery pages, titling them accordingly and then selecting a specific category for the following pages and then just add them to the navigation menu. Alright, so next off uh, we have another option of the view type and this is pretty much responsible for um, the following area over here, the way we view and uh, see our galleries or display them to our audience. So as you see here, we have seven options to choose from. Every one of these have their own number of settings to deal with. As you see, as you see here within list view, this is uh, one of the easiest ones to customize as you only enter a number of posts and then um, you choose whether or not you want to display pagination. Next off, within these grid options, you then have the option of selecting the number of posts per page. Then you select your gutter space in between um, your galleries, then you select number of columns, two, three, four, etc. Uh, enable or disable masonry, and then show or not show the uh, page pagination. So um, these settings are all applicable for the following grid options. Uh, so we do recommend that you play around with those and see whichever of these options work best for you. And um, then of course you can add a decoration image which uh, will come up right above the page title. All right, and then uh, also here we have the ability to show our page title, uh, enable or disable social media sharing, and then um, also enable or disable the widget located below the page content. Now, once again, the this widget area is located over here. If you go over to Appearance and click on Widgets, here we have this um, below page content sidebar which uh, you can enable or disable that option over here as well. And then of course if you want to add a specific slideshow um, at the top of the page um, for your galleries page you can go ahead and do that by just selecting the slideshow over here. So these are some of the settings we have within uh, the page template. Now we also have a number of settings which are located within the flow theme area. So let's go ahead and just click on leave page. Let me close this. So our first settings are located within the sliders area. And uh, these are mostly related to the type of arrows we want to have within our galleries. So if we just click here to view the following gallery. There we go. I'll see that we have these boxed um, arrow types. So if we want to switch these into to something different, just go ahead and select the arrow, click on update settings, and we'll go ahead and refresh this page. And now you'll see that we have a different type of arrow for our gallery navigation. Uh, the next set of settings is within post settings. And scroll down until you find general gallery settings. They're right over here, almost at the very bottom of the page. And then you can enable or disable social media sharing for all galleries. This will be set by default. Uh, next off, uh, if you want to showcase meta entry, or uh, actually metadata for your galleries, and the metadata usually relates to when and who published this post, etc. Uh, next off, we also have the ability to select a gallery listings page. Now the following page, um, We'll have a small grid here where it says back to galleries. So let's just go ahead and add that. We'll type in our page title. So this will be galleries. And we'll click on update settings. Let's go here, refresh our page. 
And here we have back to gallery. So if we click here, we'll go back to our main galleries page. Okay, so um, you can then also change this line of text over here. So this can be back to portfolios. And as you see here, our text changed accordingly. So those are some uh, details that you can play around with. And then you can also enable or disable co comments for uh, the single galleries page, which is this area over here. All right, and uh, the next set of settings is also located within the image sizes. So scroll down until you find single gallery page. Okay, so here we have single gallery page, and then we have the ability to adjust the image height for our desktop version and our mobile version as well. So currently it is set at 580 pixels. So let's go ahead and add this at, let's just say 640 pixels. And we'll go here, refresh this page once again. And as you see here, our images are much taller now. So these are some of the settings that you can play around with and we do recommend that you play around with uh, depending on the types of images you have. And um, for example, if you know what type of audience views um, your work on, on a specific computer, you can adjust the image sizes according to them. So at this point, this is uh, pretty much it. This is the entire set of settings we have for our uh, galleries area. And um, yeah, we do hope this helps, but also uh, be sure to check out our documentation in the link below. Thank you.